Marcus Conti reporting on something a little bit out of my lane. A treasure hunt. Oh, damn, a treasure hunt. I remember a few days ago I was out on the bike path and I, I was doing a video about vegan food and about uh, Beyond Meat and uh, Impossible uh, Impossible Burger or whatever, Impossible Foods, right? And that guy came up to me and said, oh, there's a treasure buried in Brooklyn. It's the secret. Have you heard of it? Have you found it? I said, no, nah, man, I haven't found it. Right? So, so long story short, speed it up. I found, I found the book and... I followed along with some of what the people in New York. All right, so, overview: If you're watching this and you're you're a uh, a treasure, you know the secret aficionado, then you know what I'm talking about. And I'm going to dive in. I'm going to give you the exact secret. If you're new to it, the treasure hunt is apparently twelve. Uh, there, it, this is what it is. There's twelve pictures and twelve verses. Right, and the the pictures and the verses are paired in some way, right? And it was done by a guy, his name is uh, apparently Brian Brian Priest. Right? In 1980, 81, or 82, he buried these 12 treasures in the ground, right? Across the country. And the the belief is that that uh, two of, that the one verse and one picture, verse uh, 10 and picture 12, are New York. Right? And no one has seemed to crack that mystery 34 years later. Until now. <laughs> Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? All right, so let's, let's jump right in. So we'll check this shit out. Right, so here's the, I'm going to play, uh, let's just look, I'll, I'll thumb through the book itself. It's a 41-page book, The Secret, and it's a uh, treasure hunt. A tale of the fairy people, the mystery of their treasure, and the whereabouts of the descendants. Right? And uh, there's all these fine people. I don't know. Apparently, uh, Brian Priest is the guy that buried the treasure. I didn't go through all this stuff. There's a lot of words. There's a lot of storytelling here. The passage to the new world. I don't know anything about it. <laughs> all I know is what, uh, what the New York crowd, the people that are tr tracking down the New York crowd have told me. And that is that that verse 12 and picture, I'm sorry, verse 10 and picture 12 are a pair. So I'm moving forward in, in the, with, with that understanding. That, and these are the fairy people over here. <laughs> so the verses are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, right? 11, 12. So number 10, right? Here is the verse. I'll just read it, and I'm going to read it again later. In the shadow of the great giant, find the arm that extends over the slender path. In summer, you'll often hear a whirring sound. Cars abound. Although the sign nearby speaks of Indies native, the natives still speak of him, of hard word in three volumes. Take, tw take twice as many... East steps as the hour or more from the middle of one branch of the V. Look down and see simple roots in ro rapacic man's soil or gaze north towards the island of B. <laughs> you say, what the hell is that all about? Uh, so here's the treasure. Right? So some, the guy jammed the treasure in there. These are other images. I'm just going to speed right to the one that matters, right? And there it is, right? There's the image that apparently is New York, right? And I'll talk more about that in a second. So it looks like Lady Liberty. It looks like a lady of some sort, right? And um, there's water. There's all this imagery. There's a bird. There's all this imagery. And it seems to indicate New York. That is the assumption that it's a Lady Liberty in New York. Uh, these three pilings right here. Let me uh, let me get to the let me get to that. So again, here's the here's the um, here is the the verse. In the shadow of the gray giant, that's the one that killed me. I couldn't I couldn't figure out what was the gray giant. But being in New York, I found out what it was. I figured it out. Uh, so are we are we? Firstly, I want to just confirm that we are correct being in New York, right? 
are we correct being in New York, right? This appear, apparently looks like Ellis Island, right? This is, could be anything. It could just be a, some projection. And the clock clearly says 11 o'clock in Roman numerals. Roman numerals 11. There is a bird. There's, there's a, a kind of a, a, this, this clave, clove, whatever you want to call it, this circular thing where it's embodying the image, right? It's over water. Water seems to be significant. Water sometimes is just symbolic for uh, overcoming obstacles, right? The, the problems of life or something like that, right? But definitely a Lady Liberty face. So we move forward with the notion that it's New York. Some have said that this is the island of Manhattan. Okay. It is Manhattan, right? So so we move forward, right? And uh, I just, uh, let's do a slideshow, and then I have a, a bit of video to play. All right, so there's the Empire State Building. That is the giant. The giant, the, the, the um, I'm going to keep referring to this. In the shadow of the gray giant, find the arm that extends over the slender path. So there is the giant, right? That is the gray giant. And at el exactly 11 o'clock, the shadow goes right over Herald Square in New York City, right? And this is what we find when we go through, right? So I'm just going to play through some of these, some of these pieces, right? This is just some imagery from, from, the, uh, from the park, right? So there it is. You see the imagery of, of, the, of this, right? And then you see the, 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 the cove right here, right? It's Lady Liberty. That's it. <laughs> uh, so it's the story of uh, James Gordon Bennett, right? Bennett being being significant because, and I'll tell you why. That's the Isle, Isle of B, Bennett, right? It'll, it'll make sense later. You'll see what I mean. All right, so this is uh, Herald Square. Right? It's a V, right? It's a V in the, in the, in the, um, in the verse, the, the, the middle of the V, right? Walk east from the middle of the V. So, so here it is, an aerial shot from Google Maps. Right? There it is. It's a, it's a perfect V. Here's the, here's the top of the, the uh, statue, right? right? Herald Square, Macy's right across the street, big sign. We'll see more imagery as, as we move along, right? So this is something that's on the back of the uh, monument. And um, it means, it's French, and it means sleep on it. Sleep on it. Okay, I'll sleep on it. So this is what it looks like earlier uh, in 1908. This is where the monument originally was, which was on the New York Herald, uh, the top of the New York Herald. From 1835 to 1924, this monument was on top. And you see all the, the imageries of birds. There's birds all over the place. Owls, birds, eagles, birds everywhere, right? There's clocks everywhere, right? right? Roman numeral clocks. One on each side of the, this is the back of the monument. This is the back of the, uh, the display. And on the front is, is the front of the display, right? There's all these other imagery. I don't know what this is. I just thought it would be interesting. But there is the hand. There is the arm. Find the arm that extends over the slender path. In the shadow of the gray giant. See that? See, now this was at about 9 a.m., right? But by, by as you'll see in the video, at 11 a.m., uh, in, in it's not quite summer yet, right? The image, the sun, is right behind the gray giant, casting a shadow down onto, uh, uh, down onto um, Herald Square, right? At exa almost exactly 11 o'clock, maybe 11.30, Right? So, and there's the face. You study the face, right? So the face is very similar to the face in the uh, card. Right? There's an owls, owls everywhere, birds everywhere. The bird on the shoulder right here is a, is a real pigeon, by the way. <laughs> that's not that's not part of the 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 uh, the, the uh, statue. That's a real bird. Right? So we move on, and that's there. It is right. See how her arm extends over the path. Right, so the gray giant in the shadow of the gray giant find the arm that extends over the slender path. Right. Am I reaching? I don't know, but look at the look at the imagery. Right, you see in the you see here. Right, 
you see that that there is a cove and you see that there's box kind of these box imagery things right box imagery right kind of boxes you see these these square images right it's very very similar it's very it's very close now these guys are obviously not in the picture but does it matter i don't know uh, so here's the story of uh, James uh, Gordon Bennett and his son. That's who the, the tribute is to. You can read it on your own time. It doesn't really have much significance. All right? And there is the clock above the, you know, the, the clock in the card is 11 o'clock. Right? And that was my first impression. Where, on, where is the Gray Giant in New York? The Gray Giant, I guessed, was, was the, statue, was the uh, Empire State Building. And then when you Google map it, you see that the shadow, it's, it's east of, it's east of uh, Herald Square on the map. And then the shadow points right to Herald Square, right into the park. Right? So here's some more uh, stuff on the ground, construction. Right? It's going to be a long video, so just bear with it. Right? New York Herald. Right? All right, so there's the statue. It's just a, just things that I saw laying around. All right, there's some old pictures. That's the that's uh, Bennett. My name is Bennett. There's an owl in the front. There's two owls. That's one side of the park. Security all over the place. I, the bad news is that I didn't do the dig because you'll see why. It's cops everywhere. Right. That's from across the street. Uh, the white flower in the picture in the in the uh, in, in the, the woman is holding a white flower. I didn't see anything that could have indicated a white flower, but that's from from across the street on a distance. And there's the there's the, the staggering image of of the the arm stretching over the narrow path, right, and the the gray giant behind her, right. So. All right, so let's watch some video. This is the main video that I shot. In the shadow of the gray giant, find the arm that extends over the slender path. Okay, so this is closer to 11 o'clock. You see where the sun is now, right? It's about 1045, right? And... And it's not quite summer. So in summertime, the, the sun would probably be right over here casting that shadow down. Right? So it's, it's pretty safe to say. And it comes right over the top. Right? Cast that shadow right down on the park. Right? It's almost like pointing at it. Right? So. Gray giant. I don't narrate the whole thing. I just, just, I just the beginning of it. And the stores are irrelevant because no nothing was great. nothing was there the in 1980. So that's the entrance of the park, and this is what you see. Right, it's a lot of the images. Herald Square. I, uh, a lot of the images I already showed you. Herald Square. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you the, the big one, the one that almost knocked me over when I figured it out. James right. Bennett Jr. What does the water mean? It just it killed me. I didn't the see Herald, it. New York Herald. I didn't see it until the end, and I I actually didn't. I only filmed it at the end in a separate little clip. You'll see what it means. These are just the old images, right? It's all outside of the park. I don't know. Like I said, if you guys are are, you know, deep into this um, into this hunt, if any of these images ring true to you, something that I missed, something that doesn't ring true, you know, look it up. Look, look me up, man. I'm here. Short Happy Life, gmail.com. So there's the imagery.
That's where it used to be. The building used to be north of the the monument. They they apparently when they knocked it down, I guess in the 1920s, maybe a little later, 1930s. James Gordon Bennett, the Isle of B. So now we enter the park. This is the uh, the point of the V, right? the, the top of the V. There's an owl there, and there's an owl on the other side. So we've got two owls, some picket fences surrounded. It's got the Macy's clock. See the Macy's clock? You head straight up to the center of it. There's trees, so that's where the the, the treasure is buried the along the side. Over the, uh, the slender path. Right. The, the treasure is buried off to the side, and I'll show you where it's buried as we move on. Right, but let's just get the imagery out of the way, right? So, so there is her arm extending, casting a shadow. You see the shadow, right? And as I said, at, at 11 a.m., the shadow is, do, is almost pointing directly at the monument, right, over the building. Is the Empire State Building the, the, the gray giant? I believe it is. Because it wouldn't be the World Trade Center. It wouldn't be, because the, the Twin Towers at the time, right, were two. So in the verse, the, the, the author of the verse doesn't say uh, giants. He says giant, the gray giant, right? was still infamous in New York. The Empire State Building is... Uh, was the tallest building for the longest time. We see the image right there, right? There it is, right? There's the, there's the clock, there's the, 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 the cove, Lady Liberty, the arm extending, right? She's, she's high up. She's above, you know, the fray. And look at this, look at this um, angle right here. Here's where you could see essentially the, the angle where, right? So now the sun, it's still moving, it's still moving this way. In the shadow it's of the gray giant. Find the arm that extends over the narrow path. That's it. That's so you, the you slender path. The slender path, right? So you could see that the sun is moving closer to the to the Empire State Building as the season progresses as well. It moved, so maybe 11, at 11 o'clock in the summer, that's where it's going to be. This is the back. I don't know what's in there, but I just found it very interesting. This owl. And again, that means um, sleep on. You can hear trains running. You hear the sound of trains? Ah, wait a second. You hear the sound of trains because that's the next clue coming up, right? So, you right? So that's so far. Here we are in the shadow of the gray giant. Find the arm that extends over the slender path. I believe that's it. In summer, you're all you'll often hear a whirring sound. Cars abound. Okay, cars abound. You're right in the middle of a major intersection. That's not a mystery, right there. Cars everywhere. But what is the whirring sound? Underneath the Herald Square is a train is trains, right? And you're actually gonna see the train grates where you'll hear that sound, but that's not the real sound that we're gonna hear. Uh, wait until you hear the sound. It's gonna blow you out, blow you away. Clock on both sides of the tower. Remember, 1980, right? It wasn't high security. I know the guy would never bury the treasure in a in a planter or a plant, you know, in a in a pit full of flowers or make you dig up someone's grass, right? However, that's not way that's not the way New York was in the 80s. The 80s it was it was kind of lawless and and um, you know, a wooing sound. It's a wooing sound, right? Uh, you hear the wooing sound, and also, you see this. This is the, the water fountain. I, I missed it on the first pass. I, I totally missed it, and I didn't talk about it. I didn't stop and examine it, but I, di I do in another video. You'll see. What the hell is that? One. Oh, damn. You hear, them? 
You hear the whirring sound? That's it, right there, man. It happens every hour. You see the extended arm, all the imagery is there. If I were priests, this is where I would have put it. I would have put it right under the Empire State Building. The big monument. The big gray giant. See the clock's 11 o'clock? It is 11 o'clock, trust me. You'll see it across the street on, at Macy's. That, that blew me out the first time I saw it. I was like, no, it's moving, holy shit. Damn. So it's all it's a mechanical monster. And there's the Macy's clock. See it's eleven o'clock. Roman numeral eleven, same as the same as the card picture. Maybe Macy's is significant, I don't know. So the whirring sound is the sound of the 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 sound of the mechanical movement. And it's also the sound coming from down below, coming from the train every once in a while that passes, you hear this mechanical You also hear air, because it's a it's an air vent. It's a, fans that go on in the summertime. It's very common in New York. I w I'll show you where they are. They're on the, they're on the ground. There they are, see them? Th those are, that's where the sound is coming from, whirring, other sounds, other whirring sounds. Triangle Park. So what else do we have? Cars abound, although the sign nearby speaks of Indy Native, the natives still speak of him of hard word in three volumes. What does that all mean? What does that all mean? So this is, this is, um, we'll get to it. So this is, I just wanted to show you the security around the park, right? If you think you're gonna go into this park and, and dig a three foot hole, you're, at, you're crazy. It's not gonna happen. The security in this city is, is off the cuff, right? So that's one side of the park one side of the V and there's the gray giant and the shadow of the gray giant you just heard the clock hit 11 but again as summer passes summer moves on I guess the 11th hour it, the sun moves a little further in the other direction so it's, it's officially a shadow just another day in New York loud sirens it could just have been something he heard. Did he hear the whirring sound of the of the of the, the actual monument moving? Did he hear the whirring sound of the of the train passing down below? The sound of the fans, the exhaust fans underneath the underneath the park. All the trains run under the park. Arm extending over the narrow path, the slender path, excuse me. I keep saying narrow because people thought it was in Bay Ridge, the narrows, the narrow section of Bay Ridge where I live. That's why I became interested in this idea, but it just, it doesn't hold, it doesn't hold. That's the security guard that was following me around the park <laughs> because, uh, because I, I tend to look strange when I do these things. I'm out there filming. But there's the there's the gray the gray monster, the gray giant. Casting the shadow. In the shadow of the gray giant. That was the one that killed me. I couldn't figure it out. I was like, is it the Varazano Bridge? Is it the Empire State Building? Is it the Chrysler Building? Is it uh, the Twin Towers? I'm sorry, Twin Towers. It's the Empire State Building. That's what he was talking about. That's the giant. 
Is it the Statue of Liberty? No, because the Statue of Liberty is not, first of all, it's not gray. The Statue of Liberty is green. It's copper. And in the, in the summertime, it's green. So I'm just strolling right now. How much more is there? Little five more minutes. Uh, that water fountain is significant. Just just keep in mind. And you see, there's the trees. It's it's in the it's in there. It's in there, right? So the V. We'll get to that part of it in a second. But just just look. You see that there's plenty of places where he could have gotten it in there, right? Now again, in 1980, New York was not a happy garden, right? This this could have been people sleeping in there, right? It could have been a homeless. You know, a bunch of homeless guys laying in the park, and he figured out, I'll stick it in there, right? Because it's not, it's not the way it is now. You know, this was all renovated, very likely dug up a couple of times, you know, sadly. If he went three feet down, is it more than three feet? Yeah, of course, because you got giant trees there. If it was shallow, if it was a shallow planter, it wouldn't be uh, able to sustain giant trees. So, yeah, it's definitely diggable. Was he talking about a, 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 a you know, branch, a, a tree branch in the verse? We'll get to that too, right? So there's the planter, the V. There's the other side of the planter. So it's all, it's along the side. It's definitely it's definitely along the side, and I'll tell you exactly where I think where I think it is. Again, I didn't dig it, but I'll tell you where I think it is. Tell you where the solution is. That's it. So there's the grading, right? There's, this is significant because I couldn't figure out this. What is what does all this mean up here? Oops. What does all this mean? You see this? See all this? Is that what he's talking about? Is that what he's is that what he's talking about? I'm sorry. That way, you see, is there is there something to this and this? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But there's definitely a whirring sound that comes out of it. You'll hear air. You'll hear vents. You'll hear trains passing. People clunking on it. Right? Not so much people clunking. On it. They're pretty secure. But. Uh, a whirring sound. What is a whirring sound? It's kind of mechanical. It's the definition of a whirring sound. And you heard it. You heard it definitely in the the movement of the statue, no doubt. I'm just like I'm stepping over people at this point, pushing people out of the way. I get out of my way. I'm jumping such for the treasure. Uh, so there's the image again. Can't can't be more. It can't be clearer in my view. There's something behind it. See, there's like a tree stump or something. Some kind of, some kind of. He's got a. She's got a spear. It's it's a she. It's a goddess. Uh, of wisdom, goddess of wisdom. And the and the bell, the bell bearers, the bell bangers. Whatever they're called. Right? There's that branch in the back there. There's a face on her chest too, another kind of like green man or something. It's a lot of imagery. A ton of imagery in this park, you know what I mean? And again, north is that way. North is behind. It's actually north. Right? Macy's. A clock, right? There's clocks everywhere. It's, you know, so. No short of clocks. Shortage. In the shadow of the gray giant, find the arm that extends over the slender path. That's that's big, and then it looks just like the card. That's what you find in the shadow of the gray giant in New York City. You find you find that. 
That's what he was looking at. That's what Mr. Priest was looking at. So let's play this one too. This is uh, this is another version of the ballad part. Listen. You hear the clunking and the clanging, the weird hearing sound. That was at 10 o'clock. That was at 10 a.m. All right, and um, just to show you how many cops are walking around. There's cops everywhere. Right? Cops. This guy followed me from one end of the park to the other. Good looking. So, I don't know why. But he kept, he followed me all the way around the park, right? So, there's no way you're going to be digging a hole in, in the middle of the day in New York. Right? So, it's pretty secure. Um, oh, here's the other side of the park. Here's the east side of the park. And then I'll get to the solution. So. Right? so you can see the planters, right? They're not even planters. They're deep, deeply embedded kind of places to dig. They definitely have stuck a cachet in it, whatever it's called, treasure. I right? think it's only this big. Definitely have stuff it, got it down there. You probably have to do it at night, but again, New York. Again, in New York. New York was a wild, was kind of a lawless, kind of a you know. It, it certainly wasn't like this, and nobody would have objected to you going in there. And if somebody sees you digging a hole in the middle of the city, they'll be like, "What the hell is that guy doing?" Keep on moving. But now it's a different, different story. I think you're putting a bomb in the ground or something. And so that's that side of the park, right? And I'll, and I'll show you why it's relevant uh, relevant in a second. So what I want to do, and now I'm going to give you, I'll give you the solution. I'll give you where the dig is, right? The way to, I don't really have a, a great image of it, but you could see right here, right? If you look at the center of the V, right? That's not going to work. Let me, um, let me find, just bear with me one second. And I will find the image that will show you where the, where the, oh, here it is. So if we look at this one right here, this is, this is the, this is the actual V. I right? forget about this faded line. I don't know what that is because those paths aren't really there, especially the one that comes right across. Well, maybe it is. The narrow, that, that could be the path he was talking about. Maybe it'll look different at some point. But uh, the arm extends over the path. Nonetheless, right, if, if this is the center of the V, right, the only way you would be on the west, this is west, this is east, right? So if you're, on, if you're at the center of the V, like say right here in this area, right, between the two trees, right, there's trees, cluster of trees, cluster of trees, there's the monument, and then you walk east. East is... 20 paces, so we're looking 22 paces, right? The clock is 11. Oh, let's look at the, uh, let's look at the, um, the poem again, right? So, speaks of, let's look at this. Uh, although the sign nearby speaks of Indy native, Indy's native, the natives still speak of him, right? So he was a publisher. The guy was a publisher. Bennett was a publisher, and he was the owner and publisher and creator of the New York Herald that became the New York Tribune, that, that merged with the New York Tribune and ultimately became the New York Herald Tribune, which is now debunked and out of business, right? Now, I don't know if it was... I, I, I don't know what really more to make of that other than he's a, he's a native, he, you know, and people speak of him, hard word, it's publishing, it's journalism, he was a crime and, uh, you know, a crime kind of exposure publication... And volumes, there's three. There's Herald, New York Herald, the New York Tribune, the New York Herald Tribune, right? 
So here's the other part. Take twice as many east steps as the hour or more from the middle of one branch of V. Right? One branch. So east of the middle. Right? So you're going to walk east of the middle. So you pick this one right here, right? And you, if you walk east, right? If you walk east, this is east. Right? East is not this way. East is, if you took, I had a compass, and east brings you right over here. It brings you right to this spot right here. Okay? And what's in that spot? Right? What's the one thing in the, in the, in the card that, I haven't, that we haven't talked about yet? Water. Ha, 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 ha. Water. Right? That was the thing that killed me, man. It's like, where's the water? All right? So when you go over here and you walk this way, there's a water fountain. All right? There's a water fountain, right? So that's, so that's roughly, roughly it's, and I'll show you another, another image in a second. But it's roughly right here, the, the center of the V, and you walk east, maybe 20, 25, 20 steps. That's what I did, right? And I ended up right by the right in front of the right by the water fountain. That's where I was, right? It brought me right to the water fountain. So let's look at one other thing. And this is gonna this is this is the one that blew me away. When I walked through, I said, What does the water mean? And I was standing in front of it. I was standing right in front of the water fountain. There's the water. There it is. Now, water, again, can be symbolic of being, you know, above troubled times. He's a publisher. Right? Whatever the, sim the symbolism of water is, it could be very symbolic. But look there. Okay. Stop. Okay, so water, not at that guy. but so. so there's water. There's the monument. There's how close it is to it, right? And that's 22 steps east of the middle of the V. That's what you find. Right? So what is it, buried under the water fountain? No. As I said, when I was out there, I didn't discover, I did right there, I didn't discover this until the end. So I would say right in this area of the tree pit, right? It's, it's got to be, if this is the water, this is where it takes you, right, to the water, I'm going to say that the treasure is right there. It's right behind the water fountain. That's where it is. If he buried it, he probably sat over here. He got some water, and he and he and he put his poem together, and he dug right here, and that's where he stuck it in. So, so is it accurate? I don't know. Let's look at the poem one more time, and then I'll let you go. So there's the image. We saw a lot of these images. We saw the clock at eleven o'clock cast the shadow of the gray giant. The woman's face is inescapable. The shape of the, the shape of the cove is inescapable. There's birds all over the place. It's definitely New York. It gave us Ellis Island. I don't see anything that indicates that this was in the immediate area. Uh, the um, sorry, I don't see anything that indicates that that uh, this sorry this part of it. I don't know why it's not letting me do my thing. Uh, I don't know why. Uh, I don't see anything that indicates that that this part of it right here, this this Russian kind of thing that we see at the uh, at Ellis Island, was in that immediate area. But that again, that could have been his indication that Statue of Liberty brought us to New York, right? And then once in New York, in the shadow. The other thing in the Statue of Liberty. In, in Ellis Island, it actually, you see her, her finger is not pointing in, in Ellis Island, right? In, in, I'm sorry, in Liberty Island, right? She's, she's clutching the book with this hand, right? She's clutching the, the, the book of justice or whatever it is, right? So, but in his picture, so it's not the Statue of Liberty. That's not the position of the Statue of Liberty. But if you look, the position of the Statue of Liberty, her finger is actually pointing towards Manhattan, and my first impression is, is that it's actually kind of pointing towards the World Trade Center. But again, the giant, the giant uh, is, is uh, singular. It's not plural. It's not giants, the great giants. It's great giant. 
right? And again, we find that in the Empire State Building, in that shadow, it leads us right to, to something that looks almost identical. Not identical, you know what I'm saying. Uh, so, so now we read it again. In the shadow of the gray giant, find the arm that extends over the slender path. Did we do that? I think we did. In summer, you'll often hear a whirring sound. Cars abound. We heard all those things. We saw the cars. Although the sign nearby speaks of Indy's native, the natives still speak of him, of hard word in three volumes. So the, the whole story of all, the, all the, the, the narration around the park is of him, right? The, 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 author, the publisher, Bennett, right? Bennett. Take twice as many steps east as the hour, 22, steps or more from the middle of one branch of the V. All right? That's what we did. That's what I did. And I walked and I found, I, I, it took me right by the water fountain, east, using the iPhone compass, brought me right to, right to, to the, the, the water fountain. Look down and see simple roots in rapsic, rapacitic, that means uh, it joyous, euphoric man's soil. In euphoric man's soil, who the hell knows what he was talking about? Or gaze north towards the Isle of B. Now, again, the, the, the actual first New York Herald was, was north of the park. So you could say, since it's his, you know, it's his game, it's his story, right? It's the Isle of B, right? That's, that's what I get out of it, right? So, so the dig... So the dig, right, the dig would be right behind that water fountain, in my view, right? That's where it is. It's right behind that water fountain. you got all the images, the imagery in the, in the card, right? Water, right? That was the, you know, above the water, right? Above the water, right? That's where she is. She's above the water, right? So water and, 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 uh, and, and in that planter, right? Now, again. You're not gonna get a you're not gonna get a shovel in that ground without getting thrown in jail, right? It's just not gonna happen. The park is probably locked at night, or definitely you've got uh, you got the toy cops, the pretend cops, the guy that followed me around, but you got the real NYPD also there. Uh, so, I mean, and again, a lot has happened since the '80s. That park has been tweaked and renovated. Not so much the, the planters moved or any of that stuff. But certainly, you could see that they they garden it and dig. All right, so has could the ground have been flipped three foot three feet down? Eh, probably. You know, probably right. Where's the roots that he was talking about? I don't know. I didn't see any roots, but definitely. Um, so that's um, I call that solved. I call that solved. So uh, you know, thank you for your. Uh, you know, if anybody wants to chirp in on this one, I don't know. I you know I don't know. I don't know what else to add. So. Uh, so uh, if you want to make a contribution, I'm a, an investigative journalist. So if you, if you like this kind of work, I did this on, on my own. I did this just because it was very, very interesting. And, um, hey, prove me wrong, right? Marcus Conti reporting on the treasure hunt, the secret now solved, New York.